made these verbal altercations. He will just disrespect me, and then I will go back at him. She verbally abuses us. You're raising children who are going to have to recover from their childhood. You're suing because you said she used $1,500 to get breast augmentation. I get in touch with her family. They're like, she's probably in surgery right now. Surgery for what? Well, sir, are, are you or are you not using the product that she purchased? I actually just married an empty alcoholic. And you rushed in it because you were looking for a band-aid. Here is today's case. This fashionista says the only thing standing in the way of his marriage is his fiance's best friend. If two's company, then three is a mess. Can this couple shake off this third wheel and finally get there happily ever after? That's today's case on Divorce Court. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, as you know, we have a virtual audience and it's filled with your super fans. Today's super fan of the day is Kenzie from Long Island, New York. Kenzie, welcome to Divorce Court. We're so happy to have you with us. Your Honor, this is the case of Goodwin versus Stevenson. Thank you, Juan. Mr. Rome Goodwin. Yes, Your Honor. You have brought Mr. Dion Stevenson. Yes, Your Honor. To divorce court today, I understand the two of you have been in a long-term relationship yes. for the last six years, but you are having a number of issues now, and you are making a decision today whether to stay together or go your separate ways? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. I'll start with you, Mr. Goodman. Now, Mr. Stevenson, I see you wore your red cape Darling, today. Darling, don't play. No games <laughs> being played here. You see it. Get into it. Don't stop We're going to fly right through this testimony. Right That's through. That's what we're going to do. That part. <laughs> Mr. Goodwin, we'll start with you, sir. Why don't <laughs> yes, you give sir. me some background? You know what, y'all know I'm at my breaking point. You know, me and my fiance been together for six years. And you know, in the gay community, that's like 20 years. But you know, I realized that he has a problem with spending. You know, he spends way too much money. You know, we don't have enough money to save for hard times. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, Your Honor, like, he don't get along with my best friend of 20 plus years. Somebody that's been there for me even before he came in the picture, mm -hmm. my ride or die, and they don't get along. And I feel like between the finances, between the communication and my best friend, that our relationship may not be strong enough to last another hardship, you know? Mm. What do you have to say about that, Mr. Stevenson? Well, first of all, Your Honor, I love my partner. We've been together for a long time, like he mentioned. Um, he's the love of my life. He's someone that I don't see myself being without. Mm -hmm. You know, just like when Cinderella had her shoe made, the shoe was made perfectly for her. So that's what I feel with him and I. Mm -hmm. But the real deal is not what he's talking about. He's over here blabbing and being delusional. Okay. And, and in denial. Because the problem is Ashley, his best friend. Oh, my that's God. That's the problem. The real problem. Well, well, let's start from the beginning, because I understand the two of you met. You were living down south. Yes, Your Honor. I was living in Tennessee, and he was living in California. I was in the military at the time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, at the beginning... What branch I, of the military? Um, the Army. Okay. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And at the beginning, it was good. You know, um, I felt like I met someone that was tailor-made just for me. You know, mm -hmm. coming from uh, the South, as you know, they're very conservative, very traditional. So I, growing up as a black gay male, I couldn't be my authentic self mm -hmm. because I was brought up in the church. And you know, the church looked down upon being gay. Mm -hmm. So for the, when I met my babe for the first time, I felt like I could be my authentic self. How did the two of you meet if you were in Tennessee and he was in California? I had a, um, Your Honor, I had a video of me singing in my mother's kitchen that went viral on Facebook. Okay. His mother saw it and she told him about it and that's how we met. But then when you live together, you start the fantasy's over and you start facing reality. Mm -hmm. What happened? You know what, Your Honor, at the, in the beginning, it was good. Like, we had so much in common. I felt like I was getting a new leaf on life. But right after the fairy tales and the fireworks and the sparkles, I realized that, you know, when we started losing things, that he had a, a, a finance problem, a spending problem. What you was know? the spending problem? He buys, he spends so much money on rep. Look at him, Your Honor. He has a custom-made suit on right now. He spent thousands of dollars on his clothes and his shoes. You know, we have a company, so he has this thing like, your image is everything, your image is everything. And I'm like, okay, yes, we do dress people for a living, we are creative directors, but 
I come from the military where you have to have a plan A, B, and C. For a budget? Yes. Did you lose your place? Yes, Your Honor. Let me tell you about that. Well, so, me... so hold on a second. I, I, you know, to his credit, he does have nice wardrobe. Oh. So, Mr. Stevenson, according to Mr. Good, when you have champagne taste on a soda water budget. Yes, what's honey. Going on? Come on, champagne taste. <laughs> Listen, it's about the taste, not about the budget. Mm. Let's start there. Well, Mr. Stevenson, not when you're not when you're losing your apartment, sir. You have to have a place to live. I understand that, but that's all a part of the strategy. That's all a mm. part of the story. See, I'm a big manifester. Anything I speak Anything I say, it comes to fruition. You know why? Because I work for it. I work towards it. So me losing something, to me, is part of my story. But, Yon, I'm a realist. And I feel like, yes, you can manifest. Yes, you have to believe. But you have to also see what's in front of you. And you also have I to have that. a plan. You know, because when COVID happened, you know, we lost our place. Mm -hmm. And we lost our place because we didn't have a plan set aside. Mm -hmm. If we had to have a plan set aside, we would have still had our place. You know what I mean? Mr. Stevenson, don't Hold you up. think that's reasonable? Let me just say this really quick. COVID happened, people lost their lives. People went to, see, this is what happened. Society allows you to say, you gotta have a savings. You gotta have this, you gotta have that. Yeah, that's, that's good for a rainy day. But what about your real goals? You spent 40 years of your life, now you go home and you ain't did what you supposed to have been done. Well, Mr. Stevenson, how does that all work out for you when you don't have a place to live, sir? Well, here's the thing, I have a place to live. I hear what you're saying. You got to live your best life, dream your biggest dreams. Yes. And, 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 and I'm very big on manifestation. I understand that. But, sir, at the end of the day, I will always make sure I have a place to live so I have a place to manifest when I go home. There's something bigger that's coming between the two of you. And what is that? Yeah, is my best friend. You know, Ashley, like, this girl has been by my side, and I just can't understand why they can't get along. What is you your know? issue with Ashley? Ashley is a hot mess. that because we didn't have no money saved up, mm -hmm. we lost our place, we had to stay in hotels. You know, ho some hotels, if you're not paying $1,000 a night, them hotels be having bed bugs, yeah. be dirty, and we stayed in the hotel and we got bed bugs. Well, yeah, just like apartments in L.A. Mm -hmm. Unless you're paying $3,500 a month, you liable to have roaches paying $2,000. Tell me what happens. What's next? So I'm like, okay, let's move to a cheaper place. You know, even though... You may get a few bugs. Let's call this Terminator. Let's uh, go get some furniture to make it look nice. Not doing that. Not at all. He Not saw all. this house in Victorville, Your Honor, which was the same price as the apartment, but it was a 3,000 square foot house, but it was two and a half hours away from where we work. So I'm telling him, like, who wants to drive two and a half hours every day back you, and forth you to Los about Angeles? Every day? Every day, back and forth. Wow. I don't care what it is. You over here talking about, oh, this, oh, that. Let me just start here, okay? The thing is, when you're working not a nine to five mm -hmm. and you have a freelance, mm -hmm. you have to have clients on top of clients to back up mm -hmm. the money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What is it, a, a fashion design? It's a fashion mm -hmm. lifestyle design company. Mm -hmm. You know, so we offer so many different services. And with that being said, we're walking billboard. I'm, I'm pretty sure you know by... When you're in the industry and when you have a husband that's in music, that does music, it's expensive. It's expensive with your craft. It's expensive for us to do what we do. It's not cheap to get the best quality of work. So coming from that experience, I think you would understand that when you put money into your career, it's going to take but some also, time and money. Well, well, Mr. Stevenson, I understand the two of you are not on the same page with savings and finances. Mm -hmm. so, but you say there's something bigger that's mm -hmm. coming between the two of you. And what is that? Yeah, and it's my best friend, you know, Ashley. Like, mm -hmm. we've been best friends for over 20 plus years. She was there for me in the time of my life where I needed her. As a child, I had no one to talk to. Um, my family, I felt like I couldn't talk to them because I was something that they despised, Ooh. you know, being gay and, and um, being a black gay male. And my friend Ashley, she was there for me. You know, we met in seventh grade mm -hmm. at the age of 13, and she was the first person I came out too. She knew about me mm -hmm. and my family accepted her and I just can't understand why they can't get along. What is you your know? issue with Ashley? Okay, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Ashley is a hot mess. From the very first time I met her, she come to my house for the very first time she brings a guest 
did not tell us, okay? Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. That is rude. And then she shows up with an attitude because she never seen... Look, we're not PDA. We just love each other. You can feel our energy. I'm sure you can, right? Mm -hmm. You feel our love. She came into the room, and she's like, Romy, Romy, why you're not sitting next to oh me? My oh, my God. And I hate that. Romy, Romy. I hate it. I hate it. Because to me, it's like, girl, is that who... What? I, He's my man, not yours. Why are you giving him pet names? Why are you calling him oh, Romy and calling him thousands and thousands of times? I'm in front of Beyonce's mom. I'm talking to Beyonce's mom at a dinner party, doing my thing, and she's calling. She's calling. Then she calls me. How you get my number? I don't even talk to you like that. Mm -hmm. She's calling me, and then he finally answered the phone. Guess what? I miss you. Are you kidding me? Ashley, like, she has my back. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I should be able to have a special place for her. I don't trust Dion. And my concern is their financial stability. Why are you so involved in, in their finances? Because, baby, I'm his wife. For how long? I didn't see that coming. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free, 1-877-311-2222, or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Why does she call you so much? Yana, we are like two peas in a pod. Before I met him, this was my ride or die. Oh, I understand that, but now you've met him and you're in a serious relationship. But this girl's been there for me at times where I needed her the most. This girl has been by my side when I didn't love who I was because I felt like the church and my family didn't accept me for who I was. And she was the only one that was there for me mm -hmm. through everything. I could be honest with her. She has my back. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I should be able to have a special place for her and have a special place for him. And it shouldn't damage what me and him have or me and her have. M Mr. Goodwin, you know, when we go through life and we, we, and we get involved in relationships, our relationships with other people change. When you get married, even your relationships with your parents change because the person that you're in a committed relationship, they become the priority. There's just a certain level of respect. You, you don't find that it was slightly intrusive that she would show up f at your house from out of town and bring somebody else and not tell you? You know, I didn't think about it like that, Yana, because before we was together and I had my own place, she did it to me and I mm -hmm. didn't really care. Okay. You know? Okay. But the circumstances are different now. Yeah. Way different. You're with I'm a here. Significant other. He's here. He has arrived and he's here to slay. And stay. I understand that you have a witness. Yes, Your Honor. That you brought to court today. My best friend of 20 plus years, Ashley. Ashley's here. Okay. Ashley, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Okay, you're here by, by Skype. How are you, Miss Miss Ashley how are you? Faust? I'm good. Ma'am, I understand you have a statement that you would like to make to the court. Yes, I don't trust Dion. I don't. And my concern is their financial stability. Okay? And when you're in a relationship, it's 50-50, not 75-25. Okay? So, with that being said, fix that first. Okay, why are you so concerned and involved in, in their finances? Because, baby, I'm his wife. The two of you are married? Yes. Now, who got okay, the real issue? so you left that part out. Who got the real issue? Yes, Your Honor, we are married. For how long? I didn't see that coming. How long? But let me explain because you already know That's why I'm, we got married. I'm trying married. to tell, tell him. You Mr. So you gotta let him talk. You gotta let him talk. Okay. Okay. So you 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 gonna testify this entire case and and leave that part out? Not tell me. Well, it's a tricky situation, Yana, because I grew up in a very, like I said, very religious family, a very conservative family where I felt like that I would never be able to marry a man. Even though my heart desired it, I felt like I couldn't face my family knowing that they felt like that's something that's not of God and that would send you to hell. That gave me anxiety on marrying a man. And me going into the military, you know, when I went in, same-sex marriage was not legal, and she was my ride or die. Like, she was my beard. So you asked her to marry you Yes, publicly? I needed her to marry me because I needed to be what society wanted me to be. And you told I her want... the reason yes. for doing this? and she had my back. She agreed to marry me. And, the, and how long ago was that? This was 10 years ago. Ms. Faust, why, why did you agree to this? 
Um, I agree to to have my best friend out. When you have a really good, strong best friend, you would do anything to protect. Well, Miss Files, let me tell you something. If you want to help your best friend out, you take them to dinner in the time of need. You, you don't marry them. You, you you do got a point. You got a point. But at the time, <laughs> we were young. We were very young. You're not as young now. Why can't the two of you work out a dissolution? Because he's obviously moved on, and he is now living in his truth, as he says. We can. Um, like I said, I'm not against it. I want whatever he wants to do, but long as it ain't Dion. Pressure mm. him to do what he want to do. That part is not your choice. What is it that you want to do? You want a divorce? Jesus. You know what, Yon? I do feel like when I do mention it to you, it's never a push for it. Because she likes you more. She loves you. She I wants to be with like you. I don't feel like that, no. We, she's accepted into my family. My grandmother likes. called her granddaughter before we was married. I don't mean at age Excuse me, excuse me. Mr. Stevenson, have, yeah. have you known that they were married the entire time you've I, been together? Yes, yes. Uh, she okay. don't trust me, I don't trust her. understand why you're upset. And, so, and I understand it, too. Okay, but I just so, want to make sure my best friend is protected at all costs. Well, Ms. Faust, sure Ms. Faust your best friend is not a kid. He's a 31-year-old man. You understand? Mm -hmm. And he has now chosen to be in a long-term committed relationship with Mr. Stevenson. It does not matter that you don't like Mr. Stevenson. It matters that he likes him. Do you understand what I just said, Ms. Faust? It's not mm -hmm. your choice. It's his. So you've even, you've even taken steps to help move this divorce along. What did you do? I sent Ashley a cash app of $300. Mm. And guess what? For what? A divorce mm. in South Carolina, which costs $158. So mm -hmm. where are the rest of my money? And where is the divorce, you know? I'm just I'm, I'm trying to figure is it out. Is that true that he sent you the $300 for that purpose, ma'am? He didn't send me $300 at all. And if he sent it through cash app, show his cash app receipt. So he's lying when he said that he sent you three hundred dollars for a divorce. Yes, he's he's lying. I know. Yes, I, I, think I, I actually think I believe Mr. Stevenson. He he knows the cost of getting a divorce in your state where you live, and he he sent money. But in any event, he's not suing for three hundred dollars today. He's here to hopefully bring some closure to what's been happening in the relationship. Because you're right. You can't move forward. You can't build your business. You can't continue to... And, and he's, he's right about what he said to you, about you being more fiscally responsible. Yeah. So the two of you have some things to work on. Your fiscal responsibility is important in building a business. You have to know how to manage money. For you, you've got to keep Ms. Faust out of your business. It is not his job to check your friends. That is your job, or your wife. Yes, y'all. And that is my order to you today, to move forward and move forward legally in getting the papers signed. And Ms. Faust, you need to move along, sign the papers, and find your own life outside of this relationship. Good luck to all of you. Woo! Jesus! I'm happy the divorce is finally happening! But the Lord is going to have to come down himself and say, Dion, you're going to have to fall in love with her. You're going to have to be her best friend. I don't hate you, Ashley. I hate your ways. And I want a friendship with you as well. I do appreciate you saying that because Ashley is important to me and you are important to me. And I don't see any of y'all going anywhere. So to have y'all on one accord, that do bring me, trust me, so much joy. You know what I mean? Like, you know I got you right there. Let's get it. Ow! Walk now. Watch. Ow! What's happening? Oh!